When looking at a relation, you can determine if it is a function. A function is a special type of relation where every input has exactly one output, or every x has exactly one y. Every domain value has exactly one range value. So whichever way you think of it, it means the same thing. The very important part of that is this exactly one. No x value can have more than one y value paired with it. No input can have more than one output paired with it. It is okay for an output to have more than one input leading to it, but not for an input to have more than one output paired with it. So all of these are examples of functions. We have a table, a graph, and a mapping diagram. So if we look at each one in turn, the table is a function because none of the x values repeat. None of them have more than one y value that go with it. Negative 2 is only paired with 3. Negative 1 is only paired with 4. 2 is only paired with 3. 4 is only paired with 5. 5 is only paired with 4. It is okay that there are two y values that are the same because those are the outputs. And it's okay that there's two fours because those are the outputs. So it's all right that both negative 2 and positive 2 are paired with 3 and that both negative 1 and 5 are paired with 4 because negative 1 is only paired with 4 and 2 is only paired with 3. These inputs do not have more than one output. We can see the same thing over here with the mapping diagram. We're going to skip the graph for a second. So over here at the mapping diagram, every input has only one output that's paired with it. There's only one arrow starting at each input that connects it to the output. This output of one has two arrows that lead to it, but that's okay. It's still a function because two, the input two is only paired with the output one. The input 12 is only paired with the output one. Each, every input has that exactly one output. When we look at the graph here, we can follow along, trace its path, and see that every x coordinate has only one y coordinate that goes with it. There's no repeats. And what we can do with these is there's actually a shortcut, a little technique we can use that helps us see if a graph is a function. And it's called a vertical line test. Oops, let's use a different color. A vertical line test. And this only works with graphs. It doesn't work with tables or mapping diagrams or sets of ordered pairs. But what we do with this vertical line test is we draw a vertical line on the graph. And if that vertical line touches the graph in more than one place, then it is not a function. So right now, all of these vertical lines I'm drawing are only touching the graph in one place. That means that all of these inputs have only one output, so it's passing the vertical line test. So that means that all of these our functions. Here we have another set of relations. We have a table, a continuous graph, and a mapping diagram. These are all relations, but they are not functions. They are not functions because every input does not have exactly one output. Some of these inputs have more than one output that they are paired with. So if we work our way through and take a look, over here at the table, negative 2 is paired with 3, and it's paired with 4. So that means this one input has two outputs. So that means this is not a function. And if that wasn't bad enough, 0 is paired with 1 and 6. So this one input has two outputs. So this is not a function. If we look at the mapping diagram, we have two inputs, negative 3 and 7. But we have four outputs. Negative 3 is paired with both 2 and 6. 7 is paired with 4, 6, and 8. These inputs do not have exactly one output. There are multiple arrows coming out of each of these inputs, which means they have multiple outputs, so this is not a function. Over here on the continuous graph, we can see that there are x values that have more than one y value that goes with it. For instance, if we look at the x coordinate of 0, 
when we, x is 0, y is both nearly 4 and a little more than negative 2. So we want to look here. We can draw these vertical lines for that vertical line test, and this is failing. It is not passing the vertical line test. I've hit the graph in two places, two places, two places, two places, two places. Here and here, here and here, here and here, here and here, here and here. So this does not pass the vertical line test, so none of these are functions. They are only relations. So all functions are a type of relation, but not all relations are functions. It's kind of like how all Labrador retrievers are dogs, but not all dogs are Labrador retrievers. It's that same kind of idea. So these are not functions because they have more than one output for every input.